Nick's status right now? How's he doing? He's out for uh, Wednesday night. We're going to leave him back here and get him some treatments. And the thought is that he should be ready for Saturday. Uh, that's all going to depend on how he does over the next couple of days. He just hurt his shoulder a little bit, pinched it. And pinched it, I think, is the word they use. Um, the last save that he made against New England, uh, quite a good one. So all in all, I think it was worth it. Um, <laughs> saved us. Uh, Earned us two extra points, I think. Uh, and so now uh, a player that has really deserved an opportunity is going to get one this week in Kyle Rayner. So I've been looking for a chance to get him a game, and sometimes things happen this way, and uh, the chance presents itself. Obviously, I know I'm behind Nick, who's one of the best, you know, that we have in the country and stuff. So when I get a chance to, to help the team out, I do my best. Is there any more anxiety or nerves when you do get the chance? Um, yeah, maybe a little bit, but I don't know. I feel like I've been here kind of for so long, but you're just, you're, I'm so comfortable with everyone and you train with all the first team guys and I feel like, you know, even though Nick's out there pretty much day in, day out in the games, I'm still with the team, you know, every day in practice and stuff, so I think I've earned, you know, a lot of their trust and stuff with that. You've played about a third of your schedule now. you got 22 points. You're on pace for somewhere between 65 and 70 points feel like you have a little room to play with here that the pressure isn't on as if you'd been you know struggling early in the year yeah I mean of course we uh we feel good about where we're at we don't feel like we're under any sort of pressure situation but you know really from the first game and gonna try to keep this going all the way through the last game um, it hasn't been about pressure and it hasn't been about you know how many points do we have or how many points do we need or you know, we need this result or, or that result. It's just been all about performance. So um, I still think that we're we're looking for our best game still and, and haven't had it. So um, for me, I'm just, that's going to be an easy thing to continue to harp on is that we need to we need to improve every single week. So how many more games can you play either with a red card, a penalty kick, or missing a guy from one of them? <laughs> I'd like to not play any more <laughs> unless the penalties go our way and the red cards go our way. I'll take those, but um, it's... It, yeah, you know, last year I think we were in a similar situation, um, and you know, at the end of it all, looking back and trying to decide whether or not our players had a lack of focus or lack of discipline, I didn't think so. And even this year again, I, you know, I I think that we we've been a little bit hard done in some of those decisions. Our guys have made some tackles that put them, you know, put them in a position for referees to make decisions, and unfortunately the referees' decisions haven't gone our way. And I think they, eased, honestly, all of the red card decisions could have gone the other way. Different referee, different night, different tone of the game, and we don't have any red cards. It seems like the luck on that those side of things are going against us, but hopefully uh, that'll start to turn and um, we'll start to get some of the bad calls going for us uh, when it's more important in the playoffs or at the end. What do you think of Chicago and how they're going right now? Yeah, it seems like uh, they're kind of trying to find their feet under their new coach. Um, they, they play a similar style to us, uh, the diamond in the midfield, um, and they had, had a lot of confidence uh, from last year, the way they ended the season, and uh, so they kind of took that into this year, and it, it'll be a tough game.